Now, once you get your setting set up exactly how you want it, now we're going to get out on the water. We're going to take a look at some history, where we've been, what bass look like, but I want to show you guys what we're looking at and so many different scenarios that's going to help you when you get out on the water. Let's go take a look. All right, here we go. We're going to take a look at exactly what we're looking at and what we got set up. You can see we're here on Wilson Lake. The floodgates are on actually, so the current really has all of the shad pulled into the mouths of these pockets. So we're gonna be able to see that really good. But you can take this scenario and go find bays that have a lot of shad in them. It's not gonna be as much as you see right here, but those are the things you wanna go look for in being able to find the bass. We're gonna show you how the Axiom, how we get it set up with the down vision, the side, sonar, everything working at the same time. If you don't have two units, no big deal. You can run four apps so you can have everything we're looking at right here on one unit as well. Let's take a look. As you guys can see, I have my mapping set up here. This is really how I run when I'm getting up on pad. But you can see the bait fish, what it looks like on sonar, and then come over here and see what it looks like from a depth perception on, on side and also on down vision. Down vision is what I use mostly. You can actually see the individual threadfin shad mixed in these big, huge pods. When you find bait fish like this, this is where you're gonna really find the bass. But a lot of different people like a lot of different things. You know, a lot of people come in and, uh, and they wanna see it from a, you know, from a 3D perspective. If you take a look here, and this is what I tell folks, it's like removing the bottom. But this is drawing a picture. You can absolutely see everything that you got going on looking at it from up and down, being able to see the boat in position there. You can see we're getting away from the shad. Let's get back out here and go over some. You're gonna start seeing them pop up right here on the sonar. You're gonna see them start coming up right here. This is really cool. I love this feature. It's just technology that's unlike anything else that we've ever had. One of the cool things that I really like, you can dial it up to absolutely see how far off the bottom the shad are, what you're seeing, the, the, the size of the fish, the amount of the bait. I'm gonna come up on a point here and you guys will be able to see. Man, look how cool this is as we're coming up. You know, we can see the mapping that we've got over here and exactly where we've been over. Guys, this is just solid shad coming in off the main river here. And you know this is one of those places that you really wanna spend a lot of time on. Let me zoom it in some. Get a little bit better look. Man, just a real cool perspective looking at all those shad that you went over there. And this is really just like opening it up, removing the water and looking at the bottom. I mean, taking a look at exactly what you're seeing there, these little bitty high points, the bait fish along the surface coming up on this hump now, coming up on this point. You can see it coming up. You can see a hard bottom here. Just all of the sections of the lake you want to see. It's just incredible. Man, it's a shad. I mean, you can see them over here and traditionally what we see in sonar. Look at the shad laying in that channel, laying on this drop right here. I want to move it in, get really dialed in on what I'm seeing from an overall perspective before we went over right there. Look at this. Shad just laying on the bottom, so cool. 